video we're going to look at the image gallery and just so that we can get back to our control panel here and our plugins uh, if we go to image gallery you can see here that you've got an on and off option to turn your image gallery on or off off means you don't get anything happening on the side at all and on of course means that you do and that's really all there is to set at this level now the next bit of uh, well, the next settings you've got to make is when you go back to your web page and you can see the image gallery icon here when the normal users click on that they'll see the images but they won't have any control over editing or deleting but because I'm logged in as the webmaster when I click on that I've got some extra options up here now I can add a new category that's fine or I can look at either of the categories that are here so I'm going to look at practice and there's the two images in, I've got in practice and now I can either add a new gallery image or images I can edit the images in this gallery or I can edit the actual uh, category itself so you've got to select a category if, if you don't select a category those options disappear and again I select a category I can edit the images in that category if I click on that this is where you edit them and this is where you can choose to either have it in no slideshow or have it as snapshot sorry snapshot or as the normal slideshow uh, it depends really on the picture because some pictures uh, because of their size uh, may not be that good in a snapshot and may be more appropriate to slideshow but remember this goes back to the gallery image gallery option in your control panel under plugins you can only choose to use one of those snapshot or publish or um, slideshow so uh, you could have a mixture of uh, images in either one really and every now and again you could just change your presentation from snapshot to slideshow or vice versa just to uh, make the site look a little different every now and again you've got an expiry option here which you can set the date so it won't show once it reaches that date turn it on and off now these are the details for each particular image so you can edit the images that you've already got once you've changed anything here you must click on update you've got to click on update to actually record that information about that image you can put in some information here in relation to the a description of the image you can even change it from one category to another so you instead of being in the practice category you can choose trip but again once you've done that you must update and you see it disappears from that list as we put it into trip now if we go back and we select the trip category the image is there that we had previously in the practice gallery uh, so edit images allows you to make all sorts of changes there and we might decide at the end of the day to delete this one in particular so click on delete are you sure okay and that one's gone and of course when we come back it's gone from the list completely if you want to add a new category it's quite simple you just simply click on add category and um, I'll call it funny stuff there you go save it and on now you have a new category funny stuff and that I've selected it I can add images to it I can edit the category so you might just want to change the category's name without having to change all the photos right now or it might be a typing mistake well you can you can do that there through edit category and uh, add new images to funny stuff this is uh, allows you to download uh, multiple files and there's no real restriction on size but it is suggested that you keep all of your images photos roughly the size of about 800 by 800 pixels certainly no more than a thousand by a thousand pixels and certainly they shouldn't be over uh, probably one and a half or so megabytes each don't go uploading files that are six seven eight nine ten megabytes total waste of time energy space and s speed of your internet so to add files we can click on add files and just do a couple of quick ones here and we'll go to pictures so click on pictures and I'll add a couple that are here. That one, and that one. Use control and click so you can select more than one. Click open. It lists them here. 
it shows you the current size of them and then you just click on start upload see the green bar here don't close the window until that green bar is finished you should have ticks for all of them if there's a problem with one of them you'll end up with a red cross meaning that it, that one didn't work they've all worked we've got 100 percent that's the total size it tells you here you've uploaded three or three files all done we close that we come back and have a look at the funny stuff and there's the three images in funny stuff that we just uploaded remember you select your category first and then you can add images to the, the category and of course if people click on these here it just shows a larger image and you can go through each one one by one using the arrows here or simply by just clicking on the photos will take you through each one of them and you can close that when you finish it takes you back so that's a, a quick rundown on the uh, new image gallery that we've uh, put into place because uh, we found some problems with the uh, previous one and that actually works a little bit better than the previous one as well